Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Plays Fire Emblem Three Houses. Today, we are going to start off by looking at Reyes Support B. We got this after I gave her the Garda statues, I think, last time. Hello, Professor. It is so nice to see you here. Uh, yeah. It brings me great joy to know that you wish to visit with me again. I have this odd feeling that recently you've been trying to avoid me. No, I mean, no, I, I, I just been training with other people. That isn't so, maybe. No, that isn't so. I've just been training with other people. I'm sorry. I am relieved to hear that. In any case, I am delighted by this opportunity to speak with you again. <laughs> My. You're I'm like laughing the music speak. notes. I imagine you must be dumbstruck by how unbecoming my behavior is for the Archbishop of all of Fodland. No. Nah, it's human. It's quite unbecoming. I'm sorry I made you feel that way. Um... See... See, I want to say it's quite unbecoming, but in like a silly jab sort of way. But every time I choose that option in the game, thinking that I'm going to be kind of silly, I lose points with Edelgard. So I think, uh, I'm sorry I made you feel that way. Oh, please okay. do not waste your apologies on me. I am perhaps oversensitive, but thank you all the same. You are very kind. Oh, you don't, under anyway, you don't even know. How are you feeling? Have you experienced anything strange since you began wielding the Sword of the Queen? I don't use it that often, to be quite honest. Uh, I can't say that I have. Oh, I am glad. There are so many legends about that blade, I was worried that carrying it may result in some strange side effect. Like turning into Has a giant monster? Anything odd? A tightness in your chest? Strange dreams? No, that's the high blood pressure. Of the, sword? the strange dreams, well... Uh... How honest do we want to be? I don't know if admitting that we're having strange dreams about a young girl is ever appropriate with anyone. But, you know what? Let's be honest with her. So you saw a young oh! girl, and she appeared to you like a phantom? So this, I'm sorry! I'm I can't explain such an occurrence, but it may very well have something to do with that. Does so this not want me telling people about her? that you are welcome to come to me about anything. I'm here for you. Always. By the way, when I see you at work giving such splendid guidance to Crap, I kind of want to restart. I don't want to lose points I with so this. I know that it brings me great joy, as though I myself am receiving the benefit of your kindness. I mean, I give you gifts every time I explore, so you are? At the same time! I mean, I know so this isn't on here. And like, I know we get points with her and dad, but they're not listed here. But at the same time, that... I don't want to, like, lose points with her. Ah, well. Yeah, it was, you know, it's, you know, what I'm trying to say is, you live with her, the consequences, right? Um, I think I've talked to everyone up here. No, I didn't talk to anyone up here. I, I don't, have I even explored up here? I did not. All right. Why am I up here? Chronos, so are you having a stroke? Maybe. I gave you the thing. I know that much because you're here and you, you've already talked to you. That's how we got the B ranking. We don't have the goddess statue anymore. Or statuette, whatever you want to call it. So, but we didn't explore. Okay, that's weird. Unfinished Fable. Someone who likes writing stories. I don't even have a clue, but we'll find them eventually by trying to give that to everyone. Is that Serral? It is. Okay, so we talked to the people down here. And we did ex never mind. Uh hates cleaning. Uh, we're all teenagers here, so everyone. Huh. I got I just gotta double check the rooms. I remember that. It's been a few days, but still. Hmm. I guess I've been slacking on the exploring a little bit. Though I do explore multiple times a month, so it's it's not that big of a deal. As long as I take the time to look into it. You say nothing? Right, right. I guess not. Uh, hi, ghost. I fear I may become a social recluse soon. My life consists of wearing a groove in the floor between the library and the dining hall. Although I guess a real recluse wouldn't leave their room. Don't you judge, Bernie. That would be me if you weren't my teacher. Locked away in my room, reading, 
rapping, never to be seen. I'd also still be alive. I see Bernadetta outside of class. I wonder what it is that she does in her room all day. She sings, she... She likes... She's like knitting, right? Or something like that? What the hell's it called? It's like gem... Crafting or bedazzling things. Uh, embroidery. <laughs> I don't think that's been. I don't think that's bedazzling. Yeah. Well, whatever. It's fine. Hi, Claude. Odd. How's it going? Well, the world is happening in Remire Village. I hear even the knights have been dispatched. I hope it's nothing too serious. After all, that's where we first met. I have valued memories of the place. No, I'll let them know when we go and probably probably save them. Maybe. Hopefully. We could get there, and they could still be burning down from the last time we set fire to the place. Yeah, why was that place on fire the last time we were there? I know I made a joke about burning down the village to <laughs> make an escape. Like, it was the first dark sense of humor joke I made in the series. And then we get into battle, and it's literally on fire. That's the second ghost. Hi. I wonder how Remire Village is faring. Hopefully we're not dealing with some new epidemic. It wouldn't be unheard of. Almost 20 years ago, a terrible plague blazed through Fargus. It even hit the capital city, taking the queen consort's life. Or so I heard. The whole kingdom was in an uproar over that So loss. you heard. The person who saved the kingdom wasn't a doctor, but a holy woman, the fair Lady Cornelia. After that, she was awarded the honor of being a mage in the service of the royal family. She sounds like an amazing woman, but she must be pretty old by now. Uh, maybe. But hey. Maybe she's aged like a fine wine. Maybe. Or like cheese. Um, we might see her. Maybe. I don't think we've met anyone named Cornelia yet. Alright, so we checked up here. We checked in there. I do remember that. We have not checked the cathedral yet. Or the officer academy. Or the training ground. Right, Monica. Or the food. God damn it. Okay, we actually haven't checked... Have we only checked the outskirts? I guess we only checked the outskirts. Well, let's come down here and check the inskirts. I don't think that's what they're called, Chronos. I think they're called a terrier. But inskirts, yes. Let's go check those. And see. I don't like how my map does that. That's right. Oh, blue bobble. Uh etiquette. Actually, where of the So Ferdinand? Probably Ferdinand, right? I don't know. We get so many nobles in this place that who knows who it could be. Uh, Ingrid and Felix. Hello. You know, Professor, the tournament fish and the meal we indulged in after the Battle of the Oh, were you invited to that? Why, all of the food I've eaten in this monastery has been absolutely delectable. Every last bite of it. <laughs> food really is the only thing you think about. I wouldn't really picture her as a foodie. <laughs> Hardly. I think about all sorts of things. Oh, like tomorrow's menu, for instance? I like Felix, even though he keeps saying he's going to beat me up. Why? You have a quest. You know, professor, why? <laughs> oh. View quest. I have a request. Uh, something to prove. Participate in a mock battle with the soldiers of... God damn. All right. Fine. I will accept it. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with quests, because I feel like... I feel kind of overleveled. Okay, I know Kronos is overleveled, which uh, he's gonna sit out a few of the battles, and by sit out, I mean he's gonna sit at the back of the next few battles we have. Uh, so his students, well, him, Bernie, and probably Petra are gonna sit back and let everyone else get some experience. When news reached us of the disturbance, <sighs> but ours was the first unit dispatched to Remire. We had renowned scholars and accomplished magic wielders with us. In all honesty. I was scared witless the entire time. Now that is a little bit too well, honest, you're right? It was an epidemic, like the rumor suggested. Rumors aside, that place had an eerie air about it that chilled you right to the bone. Hmm, okay. Yeah, uh... I don't want to do two battles in a month. I think that's overkill. And I might skip out on the free battle going forward until we start... Start, I don't know, meeting the level of, like, uh, some of the enemies that we're fighting. I know we have, like, one of those paralogue quests this month. Um, and we just get a quest, and I would like to do the quests. But I would also do like to do the rare monster quest as well. Hi, do. Investigating Remire Village. Be on your guard. Okay, thanks, do. Hey, Edogard, how's it going? 
They say that things rarely, if ever, go according to plan. Still, plan we must. After all, if we don't effectively force things to go our way, nothing will be achieved. Yeah. How about you, Professor? Are you leading the life you envisioned for yourself? I mean, no, not really. But I guess coming here, yeah, I mean, no. I, I wouldn't say I'd ever pitch myself as a professor, and in-game Kronos probably thought he was going to be a mercenary his entire life. But plans do change, and we got here, and I feel like I'm doing an okay job being a professor. Sure, I have some favorite students, and that's not proper professorly of me, but at the same time... Yes. Your character must be stronger than most. Oh, it's level 23. Now, Edelgard, actually, we weren't able to give you any... Thing last month, Alaska. right? Because you were talking Alaska. the Monica. Alaska. 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 But then again, Alaska. Alaska. you might not actually. Ha you Never mind. Me? Okay. You, there you go. It's like a two-quilled pen or something like that. That could have been from this month. Hey, hey Raphael. Professor, can I get your advice on something? No. I just don't know what to do anymore. I used to think they were the best. But now, I can't even stand looking at them. Is it the buttons on your shirt? Time heals all wounds. It's okay to be worried. Who? Who are you talking about? Or what are you talking about? Time's... Time heals all wound, dog. Good point, Professor. I think I need to see other meats right now. That then seems about right. Fish when I'm good and ready. Eh. I can get you on that one. I like fish, but if I eat too much of it, then... Actually, if I eat too much of anything, I start getting sick of it. Which kind of sucks. I, I went on this nice, like... This nice... Not diet hey kick, there. but it was like, uh... I was making really healthy meals for, like, a good four months. And then it was just like, man, I can't eat this anymore. <laughs> like, I need something else. And then I kind of stopped mm. having those healthy meals, and now I'm like, I really need to start eating those healthy meals again. Because I put on like eight pounds, and that's not good. Okay. I mean, I still lost like a crap ton of weight in total, but at the same time, I gotta be like still making fo uh, movements forward. You had so much fun. Also, have these flowers always been here? Congratulations on winning the battle of the eagle and lion. You were there, Dorothea. Did you get a special reward? I certainly feel like I earned a special reward. Don't you, Professor? No, winning's its own reward. What? I didn't get a choice here? Oh, disappointing. That is disappointing. Wait, did I not? What did I get? I got something, didn't I? God damn it. I did get something. I know I did. But screw it, I guess. We'll worry about that later. I can always go back and check the episode, too. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's come down here and check over here first. Make sure there's new blue bubbles. Right. They really started hiding these, too. Which I guess makes sense, right? They don't want to just give it here like they were at the beginning of the game. No, there's one just sitting. They really hid that one right in the open. Uh, the Saints Revealed History Buff. Interesting. Okay. Ramire Village is an empire territory, but it's still relatively close to the monastery. Oh, but you know all about that, don't you? I guess. The story goes that it was in Ramire Village that Alois found you. I mean, found is kind of stretching it. Met us, sure. Hey, Lysithia, how's it going? I heard about Ramire Village from some of the. Would you like to join my house yet? It's certainly troubling. If it's a contagion, me and did. Derek Mock should be on the lookout as well. Uh, I'll handle it. Your words are oddly persuasive, Professor. Even if they're not exactly based on anything. You take that back. It's based on power. Also recruit. Yes, I'm actually very God busy. Damn it. Like, I know I don't have that much magic and faith. Actually, magic I have a lot of, don't I? I have 16. That's not that bad compared to, well... Hell, some of our mages, I think, even. Yeah. I mean, sure, I am like seven levels higher than I'm sure. But at the same time, I've, I've never done a mage class, so... Yeah, like, I've just had really good growth there. For magic, for some reason. 
Uh, we'll check up the cathedral in a second. I get it. No supports yet. We do we do want to do some uh motivating cuz we are Yeah, we're pretty uh pretty bad off there. Hi. Ah, oh, professor. The battle of the eagle and lion was such good fun, don't you think? Ignatz, how long are you going to keep harping on about the battle of the eagle and lion? Were you even Oh, you were. Oh, on, you were. Gosh. Did you see how the house leaders came together after the battle? No. What an incredible thing to witness. Harmony, even after something so hard fought. True. If they can keep playing nice, perhaps there will be peace in Fodlin after all. Yeah, if they all bow to me. Wasn't I supposed to be, like, trading an item with people? Like, I remember trading an item with a few people, so... Like... Is that even on the map? Uh, it must be up in the cathedral, or the... No, it must be up in the cathedral. Professor. Someone just said professor, and it didn't sound like a student. Hey, Annette. Hmm. The librarian is always out and about these days. And just when I had some questions about a book I'd borrowed. Hmm. Uh, now I'm so curious about where he's gone off to. Is it Ramir Village? Soon. Okay, so... They, they are really painting Tomas as being shady as all hell, so... Songstress poster. A miracle story probably belongs to someone who looks up to her. Ah, uh, Dorothea? Oh, I don't know, was that ever established? That she looked up to her? I mean, they were both singers, right? So... Hey, Flay. You are delighted. I am so happy to be part of your class, Professor. You need to get I more levels. I recall the last time I interacted with others on a daily basis like That's this. That's sad. It reminds me of when I was a child. <laughs> that was so very long ago. Can we go over ages again? How long ago? You're still a child. How long ago? Oh, I mean very. Very, very, very long ago. <laughs> okay, so you're not even like... You're gonna like pretend you're... 16 or something? So, what are you, like, 40? 50? Are you gonna be, like, a 500-year-old, like, demon or something? I don't know. I love the fact that Manuela's age is just secret. She's gotta be, like, in her 40s, though, yeah? Maybe? Late 30s? I guess I could check some of you guys out. You got Umbra Steel. You only sell one of those, and for 2,700, that's a lot. Iron Gauntlets, that is... Not really worth it. Yo, Marianne, you look badass! What job is that? No, like, seriously, what job is that? I have no idea. Intermediate seal. I don't need that. If it was an advance, I'd probably buy it. Then again, I could buy those from the shop. I did not check over here. I mean, I did. Okay. I think. Like, I checked outside my house, and then I ran down to the, the the garden. But we have not checked the training ground yet. Do you like? Do we ever get to use this? I feel like this would be a good place to build points up with people. Then again, as a professor, if I go up to my female students and go, Hey, you want to go to the sauna? They might call the cops. So maybe not. I don't know. Uh, I'm not bothering. I'm asking you. Okay. Need something, Professor? I was just asking Monica here to be less demanding of Lady Edelgard's time. Hey, it's not like I'm bothering her. Sorry for the ruckus, Professor. I still don't trust Please you. Don't worry about it too much. Nothing to worry about. Okay, here. so there's something to worry about. Uh, I wish you would worry about it a little more. Right. Okay. Yeah, I don't trust the fact that she was held this, captive for a year. This is my first time working with the Gerald. What? The legend known across the ages as the Blade Breaker. Oh, right, Dad. And I get to see him with my own eyes. Isn't he like a paladin? I have to try my absolute hardest. <sighs> yeah, no, it's just... It's one of those things, like, she was held captive for a year, apparently. And then she comes out completely, completely fine. Emotionally, mentally, and physically. From the looks of it, 
and uh, wants to be part of my house. So I don't trust her, to, to be perfectly frank. And it could be nothing, but it's a JRPG, so Hello. it's probably something. Can I check out here? Oh, you know what? I did not check the grave yet. Hi. Hi. There's a cat sitting on that grave. This is Mum's grave. But she doesn't have a name. Fair enough. Who wants to know their mother's name, right? A moment, please. Oh, maybe she's nameable. Okay, let's head up to the cathedral. We can look at those notes. We can uh, spend some renown, maybe. Oh, I see a glowy bit up there on the map. This is Lawrence. How's it going, dog? How are you feeling, Professor? You look. Oh right, I collapsed and I'm not feeling so. well. Are you sick? If so, I would urge you not to push yourself too hard. I'm gonna push to the rest. limit. Uh, nothing gets by you. What? Nothing gets by you. Just my natural talent. Nothing out of the ordinary. Enough wit now. You should lie down. I'll lie down when I pass out. God damn it. All right, let's check down here. That that's probably a trader, right? Like trading item type trader. Uh, maybe not. Your quest. View quest. I could use your help. Secret Mister, deliver a letter. There's no address, but perhaps you can figure out who the writer is when uh, who the writer was referring to when he said someone in her position. I'm just gonna hope the map updates. Reverend Love Letter. It better not be to Rhea or Catherine. You do not look well. Thank you. Are you sure you aren't coming down with a cold or some other ailment? It's a disease called so Please this, I visit guess. A doctor, before your situation worsens. I suppose the infirmary is also an option. Though when I went there the other day, I was unable to receive medical guidance, as Professor Manuela was drunk and fast asleep on the floor. <sighs> That's probably why she can't find someone to love her. It's probably the drinking. We should probably work on that with her. Hi, Mercedes. Oh, is the love letter for you? Hello, Professor. What's that you've got there? A love letter? Would you mind trading it with me for Oh, this? no, you're trading. Okay. Sure. Oh, thank you so much. I'll be sure to take great The Path of Dawn. Isn't that a keyblade? A way to dawn. Way to dawn. Oh, goodness. Is something the matter, Professor? You look a little... I'm just the ginger. Please be careful. It's so easy to catch a cold this time of year. Oh yeah, it's November, right? I probably should try to give them the lost items when I'm there. That's fine, I'll just do what I normally do. Let's go up here. There's another quest. Oh, it's Sedith. Hi. What is it? I'm in the middle of my daily duties. I assume you know by now that the four saints are all important figures in the teachings of Sarah. They also give me re Still, rewards for renown. I have a particular fondness for Saint Sethleen. Sethleen? Sure. I have something to ask of you. Uh, missing students? Sure. I don't think we've actually come across any of that. Hi. Need something? Uh, yeah, let's get some authority too. This one? You're all set. So we need 2,000 2, more. And 5,000 total to get that 5 strength and speed. And then we can work on... Probably this one, right? Get the defense. I mean, they all have relatively good options here for buffs. See you again soon. But if I'm, if I'm going to go, you know, strength... First, I'm probably going to go like defense second. It's both magic and physical, so let's go check the notes real fast. We could do the choir, I guess. One note. Uh, I want someone. I I want to make someone change his boorish behavior, but he doesn't seem to care no matter how much I urge him to reconsider his action. I'm at my wit's end. It's probably time for the professor to step in. It's probably nothing you do. Teach him a lesson with your fists. Okay, I, I kind of figured that one wasn't going to go over well, but at the same time, Ugh. violence is always the answer. During the Red Wolf Moon, wild monsters make ready for the winter to come, stirring more than at any other time of the year. You are off for Ramire Village, isn't that right? Watch your step on that journey. Hmm, okay, so maybe monsters maybe? All of you. 
I know we have a rare monster sighting this month, which we'll definitely do. I was kind of hoping there wasn't going to be like a quest battle yes, yes. this month. Sorry, I thought I saw something blue down there. So I could just do the rare sighting in the paralogue. This is a place of mysteriousness. I have awareness of how much difference every part of the world is. In a place alike to this place, you can imagine the goddess of Fodlin truly existing. I mean, it is a church. Sometimes I miss those places in Bridget. At times, I am missing the cathedral, place. if you want to be technical about it. All right, Petra, I'll see you in a little bit. You there. When I jam lost items down your throat. Just gotta make sure we get all of them before I actually do that. Nothing here. Okay. Where else is there? Apparently, Marianne either has something to trade or she has any info on some students, maybe. Um, Professor? It's about that thing you You look there. so tired. If it's not too much of a bother, would you trade it for this? Uh, sure. Thank you so much. I'll treasure it forever. Uh, gain medicinal eye drops. You look like you could use those, to be quite honest. And... I guess Lynn needs the eye drops. Hey, dog. Mm. That's a nice thing you have there. The eye drops? Yeah, I know. Don't suppose you're planning on They're near and dear to my heart. Why don't you trade it for this? Sounds good, right? I'm assuming uh, the stone to doing business with you, professor. Sided stone, <laughs> whetstone. I've always wanted to say that. Is uh what we were looking for. Let's go and talk to God damn it's Rhea. Is the is the love letter for Rhea? It was in Lemire half a year. <sighs> Look, this is from me. I can't help the way I feel about you. I've fallen in love with a high class person that I shouldn't have fallen in love with. I appreciate. This. I bet you do. Sorry. Now, we need what? Oh, we need to go back there? Oh, and there's. Probably for set it down there. Okay, we'll go down there. We'll get that. Then we'll go up and um, please open the door. Let me in. Thank you. Yeah, then we'll go up to set it and uh, give him this. I guess. Now, who am I gonna give that whetstone to? Here, set it. Well done. You have my thanks. An iron shield, huh? Have I? I don't. I've never used the shield. Like at all. All right. So, oh, 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 right, right, right. Forgot about that guy down there. Um. So yeah, I'm thinking that I'm gonna give Shamir the whetstone. Why, Kronos? What about Catherine? Catherine is gonna be rank A for my support, and I don't think points you gain when someone's ready to rank up. Judging by the comments that I've gotten recently. I don't assume that uh, you can get points towards a future rank if you don't rank someone up. So Catherine, she's at rank A right now. Shamir, on the other hand, is not. She's at rank C. So give her the stone and get points with her. Would I prefer another silver sword? Impressive. Yeah, a little bit. Thanks. But I kind of value points more. And a silver bow is going to come in handy. I just hope I don't lose points with Catherine. If I do, then I can just... Tea time? Maybe? I guess I can stop giving her whetstones then. Save them until she's done. You brought it, Professor? Hand it over. How? You can't even afford your own drinks. Give it here. You won't regret it. Um... Excuse me, I asked first. Why don't we let the Oh, you're gonna make this awkward. Ah! Uh, <laughs> don't hate me, Catherine. Her? <sighs> what a letdown. You made the right choice. Here's your reward. I'll let you borrow it later, Catherine. If you quit. Sulking. See, sharing is caring. 
So I feel the other one. Does that does that one just get removed? Okay, so we only have one battle quest this month. And that's fine. Okay, so... Yeah, we got a bunch of lost items that we have to deal with. And then we got a bunch of food. And I want to train a little bit myself. Though, then again... I mean... Is that gonna even be possible to get up to that at any point? We need we need C axe and B swords. We're close to the swords, right? We get like a Yeah. We're close to the swords. Axes we're not close to at all. I could switch to an axe in combat to gain some skills for it. Though, like I've been saying, that I want to hold Kronos back the next few fights, so that really wouldn't do me any good if I did switch. Anyways, let's uh, eat, and we'll get you and you. We're going to motivate some students, and then we'll worry about other stuff afterwards. This... I would be So you're maxed out. I might even level up my professor level. Kaspar and Shamir. I'll worry about additional points once I get other uh well enough students to teach up for uh my seminars or instructions, whatever the hell they're called. Speaking of which, how many do I actually have? And I'm about to level up, so it actually might be more. So six lessons, so six students need to be maxed out. Or I would like six students to be maxed out. Uh, Flame and... Sure, Bernadetta. Now we should have enough students now to teach during the week. This is nearly as delicious as mother's cooking. But I should still I get the other food. students up for the week after. But who? Dorothea and Ferdinand and Hubert, I think. And you're gonna be difficult, aren't you? There we go. While I, I. Uh, one more, and we should level up, I think. And I think the only other one is Ferdinand, right? Actually, let's check that out. Oh, Edelgard and Ferdinand. Okay. Oh, and Mercedes. God damn it. Okay. So Edelgard, Ferdinand. Apparently Edelgard doesn't like any of these foods. And they're Mercedes as well. Now, I get motivations if I, I give gifts, right? Ferdinand. So. Oh wait, was that new dialogue? That was weird. Sorry, I thought that was going to be the same dialogue as always. But apparently Mercedes and... Edelgard had... A, I'll, I'll freeze the frame there when we go... Uh, we go back there. So we had Hubert rank B. Just with me? Okay. Sure. Um. No, not roster. Let's go back there for a second. So he needs one more. And you need all of it. But if I give you like four flowers, will that rank you up? Kind of one of the 
save my flowers for like Lysithia to try to get her to join my house. But if this does give her motivation, then I'm gonna do that. And I'll give one to Ferdinand as well. Uh, gift. Actually, you know what? I should try all of these while I'm here to see if, uh, fruit preservatives. Okay, so that's 50 there. I'll do the rest as well. Man, that gets annoying real fast. And then, in here, I'll be like, Yo, dog, I hear you like violets. Okay, how about another one? There we go. So you're maxed out. I, I am going to use my two uh, activities to uh, to rank up axes a little bit, I think. And, where the hell's Ferdinand? Here you go, Ferdinand. Have a lily. What a kind gift. I know. Now you're all motivated to take my class. It's all good. In the hood, dog. And, yeah, let's go down here and see Hubert's support. And I think we'll do, like... Gift, not gift giving, but lost item recovery next time. Also, I gotta figure out who trains axes out of the faculty member. Aloise, probably? He used an axe. Dots? Of course, it's it nighttime. Seems I am discovered. I suppose that means assassination is out of the question. Oh, bring it on! What are you, level 14? 16? What do you think you're doing? Merely keeping an eye on you for the moment. Nothing to be concerned over. Unusually watchful. Difficult to steal upon in slumber. Perhaps an odorless, tasteless poison. Lady Edelgard certainly took interest in a difficult one this time. Why are you following me? I suppose that question does warrant a response. Considering it may mean your life. Dog, I will put you the out me in the field. Some of the alone. internal politics of the Empire. Are you familiar with Volcard von Arendel? He is Lady Edelgard's No, I, I probably read about him. You may also know him as Lord Arendel, the Empire's regent. Many years ago, he took her majesty and fled to the kingdom of Fargus. Then after a time, he returned to seize power. Joining forces with Prime Minister Eyre and my father, Lord Arendel rendered Emperor Ionius the Ninth. Politically impotent. And physically. Lady Edelgard is Ionius the Ninth's daughter. I cannot begin to fathom the depth of her sadness at his betrayal. I see something Should you be Lord telling Arndell me this? You. When I look at you, I feel I can almost see a second self lurking beneath Now that's the so surface. this. Don't worry about her. It is as if you are in constant dialogue with something inside your heart. Something with desires very different from your own. Really? I don't think so. Does that description feel familiar to you at all? Because to me, you seem unpredictable. Oh, I am. As though you Wild could turn card, baby. at any moment. What does that exactly mean, dog? I'm your professor. I'm hired to teach you. That makes literally no sense. I have no allegiance to you. Do you pay my check? I mean, I am a mercenary. If you pay me, I might fucking have allegiance to you. But other than that, you're just a creepy Dracula dude who's being really suspicious right now. Uh, there might be something to do that. No, not familiar at all. I mean, no, uh, screw you, dog. Not familiar at all. The more I learn about you, the less I like. Ah, ditto. I had thought you might be of use to Lady Edelgard. But now I am beginning to think you may, through no fault of your own, present too great a risk. I hope you will prove me. Oh, I'm gonna professor. so get you killed. I would hate for this to come to bloodshed. I would love that, actually. I got a wooden stake. I've dealt with Dracula's before. All right, now what are we doing? That's a good question. What are we doing, Krenos? I think we're ending the episode here. And then next time, I will find something to train with. We'll do gift giving, and then we'll probably have some battles, or a battle or so. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, want to hear my video second, check out some of the content, see if it's your liking. If you're watching me live stream on twitch.tv slash give my channel follow to be notified when I go live. Either way, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day.